I'll give you a little peek inside of the glass house. They call it here at Kitsimi. This is where the highest, the high end stuff actually sits. I'm just gonna go sneak through. Stare at a lot of the stuff that's on offer. Some of these cars have actually already sold. This is all the Tim Wilburn collection. I think he actually sold every car he brought to the auction, so he's going home with a check. Some of the spaces are a little clean just because there's cars that are going to be sold as we speak. Every car, every shape, every kind imaginable is in this building. We even got a smart car over there. It's just everywhere. Again, a lot of space is empty because these cars will be running over the block here in the next well, several hours. To the end of the day. It's Mercedes Black Series is one that you may never see again. Of course that's smart, you'll probably see everywhere. Look the side pipes on this Nova. Got some Hemi cars, got some 911s, old air cool stuff. Of course got Corvettes, over 500 Corvettes are here. That thing sold for a ridiculous amount of money yesterday. In fact, both of these sold for a ridiculous amount of money yesterday. But they're just a fantastic specimens of the breeds. And we got absolutely everything here. We got old school hot rods. We've got car guy celebrities. Hell, there's Wayne Carini back there. We got Broncos. Ron Fellow Z06. Got Panteras. Di Tomasa. This little critter sold for an amazing amount. Over $100,000. Buy an old SS 454. But she is as good as they come. What has she got on the clock? She's got 10 miles. Which apparently just ticked over this week. High end Camaros, pro touring stuff. We've got high end exotics. How about a 959? First time I ever got to see one of these. How about a Jaguar XJ220? I was starting to begin to think that I would never ever get to see one of these. Got four GTs. That one sold for a monster amount yesterday. More high-end stuff. We've got a uh, vehicle, charity vehicle, for the late great Ken Block. It's going across the block. How about a Tucker? That vehicle I thought I probably would never ever get to see. Real deal. Countess spec AC Cobra. Only a handful of L88s were actually built in this spec. How about one of the 30 Ford GTs, road car editions, back off in the back, that's a Hemi Cuda convertible, only 14 of those built. This is one of Kendig Designs, what, CF1 number 5 that was actually built, it's going across the block, they had taken this program. people in a minute. We got some of the unrestored best of the breed Corvette stuff. Which again you're just gonna see a ton of Corvettes here. This BMW went across the block bit to million four didn't sell. We got Ferrari's GT 40s we got an Enzo sitting here. Who doesn't love those? How about a competition spec for GT? Done in the gold foil colors. We got marching bands outside. A party atmosphere. Hemi Cuda. Tor Red with Tor Red interior. Some of the best example Corvettes in the country. Be on offer here. Wander back to the end zone. 
introduce some of the people. This is, we're taping this, we are 10 o'clock in the morning, so this isn't even half of what this crowd's going to become. This place will be jamming after a while. More Corvettes. But this custom split window. Fantastic machine. Real deal. Ford Cobra. Just chilling. We got some SLs, 300. This thing bit up to 100. Actually, let's try that again. 1,250,000 did not sell. And the same as that thing didn't sell. This SL, 300, actually sold. How about a gold wing? my days. Here's the 300 SL that actually sold. And this thing is just the most mint 427 Cobra you will probably ever see on the planet. It is such incredible shape. They did a fantastic job. And this thing sold for big cash yesterday. Classic Corvette. That one's going to Kentucky. Some more Corvettes. As you do. Some of the best examples of just such a car. All the documentation you'd need to actually, if you wanted to buy one. We've got classic motorcycles, Harley Davidson's Triumphs. It's just all here. And this is just one building. One tent, if you will, inside of Kissimmee. 2024. And it's just, uh, and you're already starting to start the crowd starting to really fill up. And it'll just be jamming here in about 34 hours. The place to be in early January.